ladies and gentlemen, the Secretary of State. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Ambassador Mike Mansfield. Ladies and gentlemen, rather than take up too much of your time uh, thanking the President for his uh, personal interest in the Asian Pacific area, in the relations between Japan, and uh, thanking him for his stalwart fight against protectionist legislation, it gives me, in the words of the speakers of the House for two centuries, the uh, highest honor and the greatest privilege to introduce to you the President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I look a little informal with my coat open, maybe some of you have been sharp-eyed enough already to see my coat's open because the button came off. <laughs> as soon as I get back upstairs where Nancy is, I'm gonna get the button back on. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you all. I just want to take this opportunity to tell you how much that we all appreciate the job you've done to make this summit and our visit the tremendous success that it's been. The American people and the other free people of the world will reap tangible benefits due to what we've accomplished here. And although the newspapers focus on those of us who s sat around the conference table, I understand full well that behind the scenes it was your hard work and professionalism that made things happen. I have great faith in you, in your skill, and in your commitment. You know, sometimes people find themselves in situations which put their faith to a test. There's a story, you knew I'd have one of those. <laughs> about a fellow who fell off a cliff. Partway down, he caught the branch that was sticking out from the side of the cliff, and he hung there, and hundreds of feet above the rocky floor of the canyon, and he looked up and called out for help, and there was no answer, and finally he cried, Lord, if you're up there, tell me what to do. And a loud, booming voice said, if you have faith, let go. <laughs> and he looked down at the rocks once again, and looked up again, and says, is there anyone else up there? <laughs> On the other hand, I can't tell that one with the risk of being sacrilegious without telling a, another one that I think we all ought to think of more often. A flood, a man on his rooftop, the water's rising, a boat came by, offered to take him off, and he said, no, I've put my faith in the Lord, and the Lord will protect me. So the boat went on. Pretty soon another boat came by, and the water was higher, and the same thing, and he gave the same answer. And then a helicopter came and dropped a line. He wouldn't take that. He said the Lord would take care of him. Well, he was swept away and drowned and arrived in heaven, and he was pretty upset. <laughs> he said, I put my faith in the Lord. And he said, look, what am I doing here, dead now? And a voice from above said, I sent two boats and a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, a special thanks to Ambassador Mike Mansfield and Maureen. And thanks also to the DCM, Desay Anderson. Mr. Ambassador, I'm told that in this country club, or country club, <laughs> I've been around Don Regan and George Schultz so long with their golf playing that you, you know, uh, I'm told that in this country, older leaders are much respected. Mike, that kind of gives us an edge. <laughs> 
But Mr. Ambassador, you're recognized here and back home as one of the finest representatives this country has to offer. There have been. There are few things more important to the future of our country and the future of freedom in the world than goodwill and cooperation between the United States and Japan. This visit has again confirmed that our relations are in the best of hands. Many of you here are aware that Ambassador Mansfield is not only a diplomat par excellence, but also a horticulturist. And Mike, I know you've been planting trees in the embassy grounds to com <laughs> commemorate presidential visits let me just say from what we've accomplished during this summit, I uh, know you're an excellent gardener. <laughs> uh, and so to you, Mike, to all of you who've contributed so much, believe me, a heartfelt thank you. And finally, permit me a personal word to all of you. Those of us back home appreciate that each of you is an ambassador of the United States, a representative of our country. We also are painfully aware that today, you who are in the Foreign Service of the United States often find yourself in harm's way for our sake. Your friends and family, all of us, are concerned about you. Your safety is important to us. But most of all, we're proud of you and grateful for the job that you're doing. God bless and thank you again, all of you. Thank you. 